It's here, it's here, it's here. The most amazing bike in the world is here. It is time. Woo. All right, get off. No. Go home. No. Connor and Dave at Priority have been sending me photos and I've been looking at prototype models and this bike, I have a feeling, is gonna become my new favorite bike. So without further ado, let's open this baby up. Oh, there it is. It smells so good. Oh yes, it's like Christmas. Priority bikes are easy to assemble. So I'm gonna put this baby together and we're gonna hit the road. Where's the seat? Found it. Do you know what this is? That's the game changer right there. The pinion gearbox. Ladies and gentlemen, the Priority 600. Let's take this baby out for a ride. All right, since I live in Boulder, Colorado and the mountains are right here, I figure I'm gonna take this baby up a mountain and see how she does. My goal with this bike is not only to have a super awesome all around commuter, but I wanna push this thing sometimes and maybe ride it up the occasional mountain. So I wanna see if this pinion box, the gear ratio, allows me to climb steep hills. I was racing that car and I beat him. All right, so it's getting quite a bit steeper. I'm on gear number four, five. Smooth as can be, this is like butter. It may be difficult, but I'm a firm believer that riding up mountains is good for the soul. I am a couple miles into my voyage, feeling great. What I've noticed right off the bat is the gears just change so smoothly. You just turn your wrist a little bit, bam, bam, bam. Goes into the next gear. It's really nice. All right, I am nearing the top. And I'm seeing a dirt road here. And usually I ride this mountain on a road bike with really skinny tires and I would try to avoid dirt. But in this case, on this bike, I think it can handle it. Feels great. These wider tires definitely provide a lot more stability than a skinny tire. And right now I'm running pretty high tire pressure. It pumps it up high for the roads. But if I really did want to ride this bike primarily on gravel, I could let out some of the pressure. I think this thing would just cruise right along. I'm a fan of this bike so far, Dave and Connor. Good job, guys. All right, I've gone about five miles. I'm pretty much as high as I want to go today. And that's not a Colorado joke about getting high. It's about being high in the mountain altitude style. Anyway, now it's time to go down. And this is where I will put the disc brakes to the test. And I'm thinking with this, this bike, these fatter tires, I'm gonna feel a lot more comfortable than I do on my road bike. A lot more stable. I am going to pause the epic downhill to appreciate the beauty of my town. Look at this place. I'm a lucky boy to have these mountains in my backyard. I've lived here all my life and I still get excited when I see it. Woo 
Yeah! All right, for the mountain test, the 600 gets an A plus. Now I'm gonna take the 600 on some gravel roads. Gravel riding is all the rage these days and this bike is definitely capable of a little bit of off-road. I gotta say, this bike is incredible. I'm really loving it. And uh, I think I'm gonna sell all my other bikes. <laughs> Just kidding, no, that's not true, but I really, really like this bike. These trails out here, they mean a lot to me. There's a lot of history here. These are the trails where I learned to love mountain biking when I was in middle school. And uh, I'm excited to be testing out the 600 on my, on my beloved Boulder trails. I gotta say, I'm super impressed with how this bike is handling this road. It's pretty bumpy. There's some rocks, as you can see. And this is definitely not a mountain bike, but it's handling it just fine. And, you know, there's no suspension on this bike, but the, the fatter tires are definitely taking some of, the, some of the brunt of the force when I fly through the rocks and stuff. Wow, this bike is gonna be so much fun. Yes! I'm gonna shout it loud for all to hear. I love this bike, I love the 600, I love you Connor and Dave. <laughs> and I'm just standing out here in a field by myself. The animals are probably wondering what's going on with this weird human, but uh, this weird human is just happy to have an awesome new bike. We're gonna have a lot of good adventures. It's gonna take me to a lot of beautiful places like it has today. Gravel test, A plus for the 600. Hello there. Time for my final thoughts. First off, and I'm not just saying this because Dave and Connor are my friends, but I love this bike. I love it. It's like they made it just for me. So I've had this bike for about two weeks now and I've been riding it every single day, mostly around town. And I gotta say, it is just, it's just solid. You know what? I haven't been showing its best side this whole time. Let's turn it around. Okay, here we go. So let's start with the best part of this bike right here. This is the heart of the bicycle, the pinion gearbox. So I had never heard of pinion before. And check this out, it's a pretty cool story. It was designed by two former Porsche transmission engineers. And they were like, why don't we bring automotive style gear shifting to a bicycle that just makes a lot more sense. Why does it make more sense? Well, all of the moving parts are enclosed in there, which means that rain and weather and dirt and grime does not affect it like a traditional derailleur. Derailleurs kind of suck, they break all the time. This thing only needs an oil change every 6,000 miles. What I'm trying to say here is you're good to go for a long ass time before you ever have to worry about anything going wrong with this bike. And that fits right in with Priority's goal of making bikes that need very, very little maintenance. They want you to be able to ride your bike all the time and never have to worry about it. The shifter here has numbers one through 12, so I would think there's 12 gears. But Dave tells me that there's a 600% gear range and I have no idea what that means. Dave, what the hell does that mean? 600% gear range is equivalent to what you'd find on a 30 speed mountain bike. That's a whole lot of range. With this bad boy, you can go up any hill and go fast down any. Besides loving this entire bike as a whole, let me tell you about some of the subtle things that I really, really appreciate. These grips are perfect. Ah, it feels like you're just getting a wrist hug. Is that a thing, a wrist hug? I also love this seat. I've always been a fan of WTB seats and it just, feels right on your butt. And when you're sitting on a bike as much as I do, a seat is one of the most important components you can have. Because if your butt hurts really bad, you're not gonna wanna ride your bike. I also love the fenders. The front and rear fender will keep your booty dry in any type of rain or snowstorm, which is important here in Colorado. And do you see this magic sorcery going on here? Front and rear dynamo lights means you never 
have to remember your bike light or batteries for your bike light. When you move this bike, when the wheels turn, the lights go on. And this baby right here is the foundation of all priority bikes, which unlike all other bike chains, never needs any lube. And they last a long time. Dave, how long do they last? It lasts a long time, two to three times longer than a traditional roller chain. Plus no grease, nothing to lube, no rust, great off-road, great on-road, great for any terrain. Also, shout out for Colorado. Gates is based in Denver. Huh, expected the Rocky Mountains to be a little rockier than this. All the pieces are aluminum, so it'll never rust. The brakes stop on a dime. They're hydraulic, super high performance. Oh, this is a really cool thing. This paint, you can not really see it right now, but at nighttime, if a light shines on it, like a car light, it reflects really brightly. Wait, one more thing I wanna tell you. I don't have a car. I've never had a car in my entire life. The bicycle is how I get around to go to work, to hang out with friends, and go to the grocery store. And this bike has mounts for rear racks and front racks, which I will put on so that I can put bags on this bike and do my grocery shopping and buy my beans. Make a meal a fiesta with Rosarita refried beans. I really believe that this bike is a kind of game changer. I think it's perfect for anybody who lives in a city and rides their bike every single day and wants a rock solid bicycle. It's great for somebody who wants a bike to do more than just commuting. You can ride it up mountains, you can ride it on gravel. It's tough, it's bomb proof, and I give you the Ryan Van Duzer guarantee that you will love this bicycle. There you have it. This is the review of the 600. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment. And if you really enjoy bike adventure videos, I have tons of them all over my channel. Go check it out. It's a lot of fun. And my whole goal with my content is to get people off their couches. So if that's you, please subscribe and have a good day.